Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf and to this Windows Server 2025 and Active Directory course where we are exploring all features of Windows Server and Active Directory and how to set up Windows Server and Active Directory and meanwhile I also explain you all small details what you need to know about and as you know from previous videos we have installed on VirtualBox Windows Server 2025 and these Windows versions which we will be using as kind of real world scenario from a company and we will be creating or managing them from Windows servers from Active Directory and in this video we are going to promote Windows Server to a domain controller as this is the course for absolute beginners I will explain you what exactly we are doing and I will give you more in-depth understanding of what we will be doing in this tutorial in this tutorial we will focus on two critical tasks First one will be installing the Active Directory Domain Services or ADDS role and this step will enable the necessary components and tools for Active Directory on your server setting the stage for centralized network management and second step will be promoting the server to a domain controller or DC and creating a new domain and this promotion of the server to the domain controller involves configuring the server to host the Active Directory database platform authentication tasks and manage the domain. Creating a new domain establishes a secure boundary for managing users, groups, computers and other network resources. So let's start by understanding what is a domain controller or DC. And the domain controller or DC also when we work with Windows Server we refer to it as to DC and it is a server that runs the ADDS or Active Directory Domain Services role and serves as backbone of your network's identity and access management system. Here is what a DC does or domain controller does. Authentication validates users when they log in into the domain instead of standalone credentials for every machine or every computer a DC or domain controller ensures that a single secure username and password works across a network authorization after a user is authenticated the DC or domain controller checks their permissions to determine what resources like files printers applications they can access and use or interact with and another thing what domain controller does is directory management it maintains a hierarchical database of all users computers and devices in the domain and the last thing what domain controller does is policy enforcement it applies security settings user restrictions and resource access rules through group policy and now similar way let's do a quick overrun of what is Active Directory or AD. So Active Directory or AD is a directory service provided by Microsoft that organizes and secures network resources. It allows administrators to centralize management. AD or Active Directory reduces the complexity of managing a network by storing and controlling user data in one place. So here you understand that the main thing of Active Directory is to managing all company users, for example, from one place, all their accounts, all their permissions to manage from one place, which is Active Directory. Second thing is secure access. Active Directory or AD uses protocols like Kerberos for authentication, ensuring only authorized users and devices can connect. And the third task of Active Directory is to simplify resource sharing like files, printers and applications can be easily shared within the domain using Active Directory or AD. And key features of Active Directory is scalability. Active Directory can manage thousands of objects making it suitable for both small businesses and large enterprises. Second feature of Active Directory is flexibility. It organizes resources into domains organizational units or OUs and forests giving administrators control over structure and policies and centralized control active directory administrators can enforce consistent security settings password policies and more across the network and why to promote the server to a domain controller what we will be doing in this tutorial 
is because promoting a server to a domain controller is a very important step. It transforms the server into the central authority for identity and access management. It allows you to create a domain, which is a logical grouping of resources that provides a secure and centralized environment for managing users and devices. And promoting server to a domain controller lays the foundation for advanced features like DNS integration, which we also will be doing, group policy and Active Directory Federation services or ADFS. By creating a new domain, you also establish the first domain in a forest. And many of you might ask, what is the forest? So this is the forest of domains. As by creating a new domain, you also establish the domain in a forest. In our case, we will be establishing the first domain in the forest. And the forest represents the top level structure in Active Directory, which can include multiple domains connected by trust relationships. So now, no further ado, let's get into it and let's promote Windows Server to a domain controller. And what we will be doing in this tutorial, firstly we will install the Active Directory Domain Services or ADDS role and secondly we will promote the server to a domain controller and create a new domain. And becoming a domain controller or DC is a key function of Windows Server. A domain controller manages user authentication, policy enforcement and other critical network services as part of an Active Directory domain. And let's start with Step 1 where we will install Active Directory and Domain Services role. Active Directory Domain Services like Active Directory Domain Services role provides the foundational services required for a domain controller. This includes managing authentication via Kerberos, creating and managing a directory of resources like users, computers, groups and enforcing policies. So let's open a server manager. I will start Windows Server 2022. If you are following this course from the very start, you already know what we are doing here, how we have set this all up. And now first thing what we need to do is add roles and features. One way how you can do it is if you are here in dashboard in the left sidebar and you can see here the second option add roles and features or another way how you could do it is click here on this button manage in the right top corner and here is also this button add roles and features. You could click there or we can click there on add roles and features. And this very first window will be for information purposes. Here you can click if you want skip this page by default and click on next. I will leave it unchecked and will click on next. Here select role based or feature based installation which is selected by default and click on next. Here in this step we need to select the server and as you remember from previous tutorial we created this server or we renamed this server and the server name was server 2025-DC01 and this is selected by default. Make sure that this is checked and click on next and in this window we need to add an Active Directory domain services role. Here you can see that this is the role selection and in this selection we need to add Active Directory domain services. Select on Active Directory domain services and this pop-up window will pop up asking if we want to include required features. Here we click on add features and click next. Here review information about Active Directory domain services and here we click next and on this pop-up window click install to begin installing the role. And here we need to wait for this installation to complete. This might take a few minutes. Now once we have installed the roles, let's promote the server to a domain controller. And it is important because promoting a server to a domain controller activates Active Directory domain services and sets up the first domain in a new forest. This process establishes the foundation for managing network resources securely. After the role installation is complete, promote the server to a domain. And you can find it here in this notifications. As you can see here in notifications, in the right top corner if you click in this notifications where is this yellow triangle you will see this very first option and here will be promote this server to a domain controller click on to this link and Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard will open. And here we need to choose a deployment configuration. And for that we need to create a new forest. 
in this pop-up window or in this wizard select add a new forest which is third option here and where is the root domain name field here we need to specify the fully qualified domain name for example this could be like example.com or sales.com or your company name.com i will call this my domain.com and after you have specified the fully qualified domain name click on next and in this step we need to set up a domain controller options first we need to select functional levels where we need to choose the forest functional level and domain functional level for windows server 2025 the highest available level should be selected unless backward compatibility is required for older servers for example for the previous server as you can see by default we are having here windows server 2025 as forest functional level and for domain functional level we will leave also windows server 2025 and next step is to configure the directory services restore mode which is dsrm which stands for directory services restore mode and here we enter the password and then confirm the password by repeating exactly the same password and click on next and this warning may appear this warning may appear about delegating dns for the zone and this is normal when we are creating the very first domain in a new forest here simply we need to click next and here we need to specify the netbios domain name and this netbios domain name is based on your root domain name as you remember previously we created mydomain.com so netbios domain name should be my domain without .com and here you click on next and in this window we need to specify the locations for as you can see for this database folder log file folder and syswall folder normally these defaults work for the most setups in our case we will also leave this as defaults you will need to modify them only if your server has separate drives for performance or redundancy so here you don't need to change anything and we click next and in this window we can see all configuration and if any changes are needed or you would like to change something you can click on previous as we are happy with everything we click on next and in this tab prerequisite check this wi the wizard will perform prerequisite check to ensure the server meets all the requirements if here any warning appears read them carefully to determine if action is needed but most of these warnings are informational if they appear on this page and as you can see in my scenario if you click install the server automatically reboots at the end of promotion operations and as you can see it is still loading this means that i don't have enough ram as you remember when i was setting up this server i added only 3 gigabyte of ram so this might most likely be the cause of this problem that every thing is loading very very slow so after this i will as you can see it's loaded only now after this video i will actually add more ram to this virtual machine so it is performing much faster so we can ignore everything in this field as this very first warning which is here this is absolutely normal if you are installing the very first server and click on install And now once we have installed the Active Directory domain services role and once we have promoted the server to domain controller in step 3 we need to verify the domain controller and this is important in ensuring the domain controller is functioning properly verifies that Active Directory domain services is installed and operational and now once this have restarted you can see or you need to confirm that the domain name appears in the login screen as it is here my domain domain this is the domain which i have set up as you remember my domain.com we set up and backslash and administrator and here you need to log in into this server and hit enter and second step to verify the domain controller here in the left hand side you can see now dns you can see active directory domain service and if you click here in the right top corner on tools make sure that you have there active directory users and computers which we have here make sure that you have in this drop down menu dns and make sure that you have group policy management which is this one now let's click out of it and third step is to test dns resolution to do that in the search at the very bottom you can see there type in cmd you will see command prompt click on enter and in command prompt type in nslookup 
space and your domain which you created in our scenario as you remember i created my domain dot com and hit enter and here you can see that the dns service on our domain controller is working and the server recognizes our domain and resolves it to the correct ip address and if you watched in my previous video if you see here server localhost you remember that we set the dns to 127.0.0.1 if you haven't watched that video and you are getting here some errors watch my previous video i will leave a link to all playlist in description and in first copy net comment of this video so and as a result in this video we have installed the active directory domain services role via server manager promoted the server to a domain controller creating a new forest and a domain we have verified the domain controller is functioning by checking active directory tools and testing dns resolution and if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one